for in sensory four chemical senses. The chemical senses you have the olfactory and gustatory. So let's start from olfactory. Olfactory is the chemical molecule need to go into your nasal cavity, and you will bind with your olfactory receptor and send a signal to your brain. So the olfactory epithelium that in the upper part of your nasal cavity. And this slide show you the olfactory epithelium structure. You have the mucus layer and the particle molecule will bind with it. It will trigger your olfactory epithelium in your nasal cavity and trigger those cells, olfactory receptor cells, and will send a signal to your olfactory bulb. And this is your olfactory cells. They have the hair, these hair cells. And olfactory is the sensory system adapt very quickly. So after you smell something, after about 30 seconds to 1 minute, you don't smell it anymore. And they pick up the signal, olfactory signal. After they pick up the signal, they will cause the structure, uh, cause the signal transduction pathway, will activate the second messenger system, open close certain iron channel, and depolarize the cell. So that's how they transfer the chemical signal into the uh, depolarization of the cell. And after depolarization, they can open close some calcium channel and to trigger the neurotransmitter release and eventually generate action potential. And the signal goes through cranial nerve number one of factory. And we don't know too much of the olfactory and gustatory system uh, because not too many scientists study them. And in 2002, we have a Nobel Prize winner uh, study the olfactory system. And this is how we know this, this system uh, better from, from the early 21st century. And olfactory is based on the pattern. It's not one molecule will trigger the response. It's the pattern of all this response, say it will activate number 1, 7, 20, and 35. And the combination of it, it go to the brain and you, you, you smell, you recognize the smell. And also it will go to your memory as well because you, it definitely depends on the memory. So it's, it's the pattern of the activation. And they can change the pattern and suddenly you, you don't like the smell. So it's the pattern of the activation will trigger send the action potential and you have the particular smell so you can say, smell oh it's a barbecue or it's an overcooked barbecue you just sub change the pattern a little bit and you can you can change the smell oh it's a Nobel Prize winner in 2004 so he he identified the theory and the olfactory pathway will go through the cranial nerve number one and we'll go to your primary olfactory cortex. Let's look at this. So your big output of your olfactory pathway actually go to your limbic system. And limbic system, we talk about it in the brain, is for memory and emotion. And this explains your smell is a big trigger of memory, especially the old emotional memory. And the chemical senses in human, they provide us the flavor. So the food need to taste good, also need to smell good. And especially olfactory, it would, it, a big output directly go to the limbic system. So olfactory is also a big trigger of memory, old memory. And there are a lot of uh, songs, novels talk about the smell triggered old memory. And the reason is olfactory connect with your limbic system, like hippocampus with memory, amygdala with emotion. They heavily connect with the limbic system. And in animals, olfactory system also play a role of social communication. They have the pheromone. So pheromone is a chemical molecule in the air. And like rodents, so it turns out rodents, they use pheromone to communicate. And 
they have a big olfactory bowl so they're able to smell the pheromone and to find the female and in the in the animals olfactory become their one of their social communication system now let's look at the gustatory and gustatory the detector is on your tongue you have the test bud and you have four traditional flavors the sweet, sour, salty, and bitter and one new flavor called umami umami is the savory flavor and come from glutamate is amino acid and you can use the artificial one like MSG this, this uh, umami and this your tongue so your tongue you have the test bud that's the test bud and they are able to pick up the different flavor So that's your test part. They have a small opening. And let's look at the flavor. If you eat salt, salt is the one provide the salty flavor. And that's because salt is sodium chloride. And salt dissolves in saliva, it becomes the sodium ion. So on the uh, test part, they have the sodium ion channel. And when the sodium flow in, will go through this channel, go to the inside, it will depolarize the cell. So more salt, more depolization. And the depolarization will open the will open the calcium channel. So when you open the calcium channel, voltage gated calcium channel, calcium flow in will trigger neurotransmitter release. So it turns out more salt, more neurotransmitter release. And when the signal goes to your brain, you feel the salty flavor. And now let's look at the, the sour. Sour is due to the hydrogen ion. So very similar to the salty flavor, it will open the hydrogen ion flavor. So more hydrogen, uh, more sour flavor. So for the salt, salty flavor and sour flavor, that's the ion channel. Now let's look at the other three. The sweet, bitter, umami, they don't have ion channel. They have a receptor. They will bind with the receptor. So the sugar comes, will bind with the receptor, and it will trigger the second messenger system. <coughs> and your tongue, you have cranial nerve number seven, the anterior part, and cranial nerve number nine. So both of them will send a signal to your brain. And also a little bit of cranial nerve number 10, vagus. So your tongue is a cranial nerve number 7, 9, and 10. And the signal will go to your brainstem, to the thalamus, and to your uh, gustatory cortex in the insula. So that's your gustatory pathway. It provide provide the flavor of the food. That's it.